Hey guys, okay, so it is day eight of my 90 day solid food break juice feasting and I feel amazing. I'm not hungry at all. I slept good last night. Last night was the first time that I hadn't had any dreams. I've been having freaky dreams every night, like real emotional, like fear filled dreams. And last night, nothing. I just slept through the night. It was incredible. Um, I didn't want to wake up this morning, but I knew I needed to get up and get juice in me. So that motivated me to get up. I slept from probably 10 until 630 and then just kind of laid there until seven. I didn't want to get up. Um, but it wasn't like I'd eaten this huge meat and potato meal the night before kind of laying there like, Oh my gosh, I can't get up. It was more like, I'm awake. I could get up, but I wonder if I just laid here, what would happen when I fall back asleep? Because I'm still, my body's still transitioning to, um, waking up really early, I guess, or maybe just getting good sleep. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I feel amazing. Like I feel amazing. I can't even, I don't even know how to tell you guys. Like it's an amazing feeling. My stomach doesn't hurt. I'm not hungry. Um, I feel more flexible. I have energy. I have gotten so much done today and I've just had like this weird, weird because I don't have it all the time. Weird because it's not something that I'm used to. This weird feeling of just peace and like calm. I don't know how to like, I don't know how to describe it because it's still kind of new to me. And so it feels weird. Like I have energy to get all the things done that I need to in the house. And then I still just feel calm where normally I feel like anxiety, like, okay, I've got to get to the next thing, scrub this toilet. And then you got to go scrub the next one. And then you got to get back to the kitchen. And then there's a kid that needs a nap and there's a kid that needs to be changed. And there's just all these things. And I just don't feel that like I just okay I just work myself up doing that but I just feel like calm and peaceful so that is an amazing amazing um side effect that I can't attribute to anything other than my body is just calm and at peace because it's not having to work to digest anything that I've eaten um the uh, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys um I have not been drinking water. I think I tried to tell you this on one of the 17 videos that I made yesterday, but I don't think it ended up in the one that I put on here. Um, I have not been drinking water. I've only been drinking the juices. And my reasoning for doing this is my research from Dr. Max Gerson. He was a Holocaust survivor and he found a way for people to juice and get rid of disease and cancer and um, allergies and all kinds of things. And you can buy his book. You can Google him. It's Max Gers Dr. Max Gerson or the Gerson therapy. His daughter, Charlotte is still alive. Um, and she has kind of carried on his legacy of knowledge and, um, um, research that he's done. So you can Google her as well, but it's just Gerson therapy. You can look it up. Anyway, the research that he did and his therapy is drinking like 13 glasses of eight ounces of juice a day and his patients didn't drink any water. And here's what I keyed in on. They weren't drinking any water and Charlotte says it was because he found that it diluted the nutrients and minerals that you're drinking in. So that is stuck in my head after all these years of doing all the research on that therapy and trying it for myself and doing things, enemas, coffee enemas, um, and juicing. That is one of the things that I stuck into my head. So I have not been drinking water. However, like right now, I probably two hours ago had over 40 ounces of carrot and apple and my mouth, my tongue is going through a detox. Like the sides are pink, my tongue, the sides are pink, but the middle has white on it. The white coating, I believe, is a sign of detox. And the only thing I can think of is the coffee. Um, which day eight, nine, woohoo, I'm feeling good. I'm so happy about that. But I feel like I just have this yucky taste on my tongue and I think it's just my tongue detoxing. So I've been wanting to drink water. So I'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and drink water. Um, another update is the supplements that I told you guys I was gonna be taking. I only did it one time. Um, I'm not gonna be taking them regularly. I'll be taking them just intermittently as I feel that I need to. Magnese is a good um, vitamin for helping clean you out. Most American Americans on the sad diet are lacking in magnesium. Magnesium is a huge mineral that you need that helps you clear out 
like digest things, clear things out and detoxify your body. That's what digesting is. You're detoxing your body. You're getting things out. So I took it one night. I took, I think a dose is four and I took three and then my multivitamin and some other, I don't know, I think a, pro a probiotic, just one probiotic. I have not done that again and I've been feeling great. I've been doing fine. Everything's moving. Um, I still feel like I'm detoxing. I feel great. So I'll just be doing that as I need to and I'll, I'll just go ahead and update you guys just, just for the reference for anybody out there who wants to do this or you're watching this and you want to do it or you're on day eight also um, or whatever day I took it. Um, just for a reference, I'm letting you guys know. So I have not been taking those. I've only took those the day that I said, I don't, I don't remember what day it was, day four, five. I can't remember. It was the day that my thighs and hips were really hurting. So um, yoga's been great. I feel flexible. I'm not sore anywhere. Uh, yesterday, I got on the trampoline and did some rebounding to get my lymph nodes moving. Today, I'll probably take a walk um, with the kids. And so I feel like I can step it up. I feel like I got a lot of cleaning done today. I had a lot of energy and I feel like I want to get outside and get some sunshine before it disappears this winter. So that is my update. I'm feeling great. Oh, and I did add some extra greens in last night and it made like a ton of juice. That's, I probably got over a gallon in last night. And that might be why I feel so good today, but it was cucumbers, rainbow chard, two cucumbers, rainbow chard, a whole head of celery with the leaves, everything. I just juiced it all. I cut the bottom off that it grows in the ground, that piece that connects it all. I cut that off and then just put the rest of it in. Um, what else was in it? Rainbow chard, three Granny Smith green apples, two cucumbers and a head of celery. And it made like a ton of juice. So I finished, I drank one and stuck the other one in the fridge. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture of when I pulled it out of the fridge, there was like this beautiful fuchsia red pinkish color on top and on the bottom and the whole middle was green. It was, that only happened after an hour and I filled it to the top and put the lid on so no air would get in so that it wouldn't, uh, so that nutrients wouldn't get out. It was airtight. Um, so then I drank that last night again as well. So I had over over a gallon of juices and so that might be the key. I might be needing to step it up because I feel amazing today. I'm sure it has a lot to do with just cleaning out to the detox. So yeah, that's my update for today. Day eight, still going strong, feeling good. And if you guys have any questions, leave them below or you can contact me on Instagram. A lot of you have been sending me questions and so I will try to answer them as I get them on my videos. If I don't catch you on Instagram, I'll try to think of it. Um, anyway, okay. I will hopefully get willing to check in with you guys tomorrow, but doing good day eight. Yay.